Most people will need the care of an anaesthetist at some stage in their lives. And there are three main types of anaesthesia. Sedation, regional anaesthesia, and general anaesthesia, which are each used for different procedures. Sometimes you really don't want to remember much about a medical procedure. Sedation helps you to feel relaxed, more comfortable, and to have little or no memory of the procedure. And there are other times when you'll want to be fully aware, just not in pain. Anaesthetic procedures like epidurals, which numb a specific area of the body, are called regional anaesthesia. But sometimes you really need to be unconscious. This is called general anaesthesia. General anaesthesia temporarily stops you from being aware, feeling pain and forming memories. Thanks to hospital soap operas, most of us have some idea of what to expect from a general anaesthetic. But what actually happens when you're asked to count backwards from 10? Anesthetist? 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 It's anesthetist. So, am I asleep now? Actually, being under general anesthesia is very different from sleeping. No matter how soundly you sleep, if someone tried to take your appendix out, you'd know about it. With general anesthesia, you're actually in a carefully controlled state of unconsciousness. In fact, anaesthesia is one of the greatest discoveries of modern medicine. Many of today's operations, especially for the very young, very old or very ill, would not be possible without it. But what if the anaesthetic doesn't work? A lot of my patients ask me that, especially if it's their first time. But don't worry, I'll be keeping a very close eye on you throughout the entire operation. Australia and New Zealand are two of the safest places in the world to have a procedure under general anaesthetic. All anaesthetists are specialist doctors. After finishing medical school and working for at least two years as a junior doctor, we complete at least five years of training to become a specialist anaesthetist. Remember that chat we had earlier about your general health? Well, that was to give me a better idea of how likely you are to react to various anaesthetic drugs, the dosage I'd need to give you and any likely side effects. Side effects? Don't worry, we'll be there when your anaesthetic wears off to make sure that you're okay and feeling as comfortable as possible. And I can give you some medication to help with any nausea so you feel like eating and drinking. Just remember that you'll still have anaesthetic drugs in your system and it won't be safe to drive yourself home. So arrange for a friend or relative to meet you when you're ready to be discharged. And I wouldn't recommend making any big decisions over the next 24 hours. Thanks, Doc. I'm feeling a bit more relaxed now. I think I'm falling asleep. It's not sleep. It's a controlled state. Ah, uh, never mind. The Australian and New Zealand College of Anaesthetists, ANSCA, and its Faculty of Pain Medicine form one of Australasia's largest specialist medical colleges. We are responsible for the training, examination and accreditation of anaesthetists and specialist pain medicine physicians and for the standards of clinical practice in Australia and New Zealand. <laughs>